most exciting players in the game. Please welcome Hawthorne star Cyril Rioli. <laughs> Cyril, welcome back to Margrook, brother, and it's always great to have you on. Thanks, now, I suppose the first question we should ask him, Gilly, is that most people yep. want to know, particularly Hawthorne supporters, about how's your injury going and uh, are you ready to roll for next week? Yeah, injury is tracking along well. Uh, I think the win last week uh, really helped in uh, the recovery with the two weeks off. So, uh, getting a bit of work in and you know, hopefully be back next week. That's what I was going to ask you. Because last week I was watching the game and I will seen now and again I'd go to you sitting in the, in the crowd watching the game. So when you're sitting there and you're watching, do you think, geez, I hope we win so I get that extra week to get my ankle right? Or do you think, geez, I wish I was out there? What was sort of going through your mind from yeah. your perspective? Well, I had a test at the start of the day and, um, you know, decided not to play because, you know, it wasn't right. So, you know, I was a bit frustrating and a bit down during the day. But, you know, as the game sort of got closer, you know, I was hoping the boys would, you know, win and, and it would give me that extra, you know, few weeks to, to recover and get the ankle right. And, um, you know, the boys played well and, you know, got the win, and you know, which gave me that extra two weeks to, to give the ankle a, a chance next week. Hey, Cyril, uh, thanks for coming on the show. It's always good to, to, to catch up with you, Oric, and you're an absolute star. But I wanted to ask you about the Hawks and uh, your preparation this year. I reckon, from what I've seen since 2008, this is the best preparation for an opportunity for a grand final more than ever before. And you speak about people like, uh, they, or not me, the club speaks about people like Buddy Franklin that they think that you can win without him. Um, what's your feeling? Yeah. Um, well, I think, it showed, I think it showed last week that, you know, even without him, and, you know, I didn't play, so, you know, we can still, you know, beat the good teams. And I think during the year, you know, we've had a, you know, pretty tough draw and we've played some really big teams. And, you know, in previous years, we haven't been able to, you know, get over, uh, get the wins. But, you know, this year we've, you know, played some pretty good footy and, We've beaten some really good teams and we had a, we've had a hard draw. So, uh, But, yeah, in saying that, I mean, you know, we and Buddy didn't play, but we had a good win against the, the Swans and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, fit back in the side next week. Cyril, in your plans, have you got mark of the year and goal of the year in your plans for the next couple of years? Are you going to have a crack at them? <laughs> you can be no, truthful. Yeah, you can be truthful. Down, 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 at, tra yeah, down at training, you know, everyone's sort of, you know, practising the hard kicks and, yeah. you know. We all well, do that. I, did. Want, I thought about that. Want. was one of my goals when I played. Yeah, you all, you all want that. So. <laughs> what about when people start to compare Stevie Motlop to yourself? Now, he's had a, he's had a very good year this year and, uh, and, and good on him, he, he has. But when people start making comparisons, does that make you, you know, think, you know, this kid's got a little bit further to go yet? Oh, not really. I don't, you know, to be honest, I'd stay awake. I stay clear of the papers because... Oh, you know, most of it's <laughs> no, no, just most of it's just <laughs> negative stuff, so I don't... I don't sort of worry about that stuff, but I've, you know, heard and you know, being him being a, you know, like a Darwin boy doesn't, doesn't really fuss me.